Spotify's a business. How are you gonna be mad at a, a company that is giving you the opportunity to put your music out there? Yeah, it sucks that you're not getting paid more, but like, they owe you nothing. Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to talk about something that somebody sent me. It was a Spotify, with all of Spotify is doing with these Spotify raps, which honestly, I think is a brilliant marketing marketing idea on their behalf. You send all the your users their most fit, like most listened to songs and how much they listen to their favorite artist. It's like the perfect opportunity for them to post about it. And then that's literally free promotion for, for you, right? For for them, like being the company, right? And actually the artist too, because then they can repost it. It's all, all, it's a great marketing move all around. But this was an interesting play on it. and. Uh, shout out to Mosem who sent this to me. He thought I would find it interesting. So let's get right into this. Let's go through this together. So it's Spotify 2020 rap. Everyone's sharing their Spotify rap. So we thought we'd join and have the fun. Here's Spotify's 2020 rap justice at Spotify version. So this is really interesting. In 2021, Spotify was a movie, it would be a villain. So this is Spotify's valuation. I was confused by how this worked because I was like looking at money, money, money by ABBA. And I was like, I don't, what did they make $354? So I didn't, when I was looking at this one, I didn't totally understand. But now I see this is their stock price. So this is what their stock went from. I mean, this is a not totally, let's see, Espo spot stock. That, see, that's not a fair, see, this is the problem with statistics that I, that bothers me. Their stock is currently trading at $230 and they put it at the peak of the market back before tech sold off back at, in March. Like it's been a, sorry, it's February. It's been a complete, it's 36% down from there. And you know, at the low, it, it's 43% at the low down from, from its high. Like that's not, I don't, that's that's manipulation in, in, in statistics that, that bothers me. If you're gonna be fair, you should do it to today's. It'd be, you'd say it doubled, right? But they're saying it's the valuation of the company tripled, but it paid its uh, artists le uh, the same amount or less. Spotify paid an artist 0 0.0038 per stream. So that's actually accurate. Uh, based on my calculations that I've been calculating for years, I would always say that Spotify paid about a third of a penny per play. It ended up being about 003.5 to base on the calculations that I've said, uh, uh, figured, but maybe it went up, you know, what is that? I don't even know, uh, a thousand, uh, three thousandths of a penny. <laughs> I would always say it takes about three streams to make one penny. Uh, so that being said, it takes 760, uh, 86 streams. Uh, just for an artist to afford a cup of coffee. That is accurate. That is 100% accurate. That's been the same, pretty much the same for years. Uh, but let's keep going. Let's see what else it says. So this is saying it takes about 625,000 streams a year for an artist to earn a livable wage. Well, that based on, okay, so this 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 is a little inaccurate, but we can talk about what it's talking about because this is saying it takes 0 0.0038. And if we do the math, I'll pull up my calculator. Uh, that's two, uh, only $271. So, but then you read over here in this description, it takes 625,000 uh, streams a month for an artist to make a living wage, uh, which $270 a month is not a livable wage. <laughs> so it's I actually, I would say it's higher, um, but 82% of uh, musicians earn less than $270 a year from Spotify. That's wild. An accurate statistic would be the fact that it ta it's about a million streams is about $3,000. According to this statistic, it'd be $3,800. So a million streams a month would be about $3,500 a month, $3,500 a month. They're saying while Spotify claims it's making a healthier music industry, it's actually made it less equal and more concentrated than ever before. This is interesting. The union of musicians and allied workers is fighting back. They're asking for one cent per stream as is their right. That's tremendous. I didn't know that, but so let's talk about that. I said, so the person who sent it to me, I was like, that's really interesting. It's really, those statistics are pretty accurate. I mean, minus the math <laughs> and livable wage. I don't know what that's talking about, but as an artist, one cent per stream is tremendous. Like that's three times, the, they'd be paying the artist three times of their amount which is a lot, you know, and the, uh, when I was when I was talking to Mosem, I said, actually, I, I, I agree with that, but I also don't know if I agree with it at the same time. I think that there's pros and cons to both. They're saying that Spotify is ruining the industry by by not paying artists enough and by, by you know, oversaturating the market. And I would honestly say that it's really kind of, to some degree, survival of the fittest. What I mean by that is like, I think that you know now is the opportunity you have you have more opportunity than ever before. We're mad at Spotify for not paying artists enough, but like at least they're paying something, you know. And I'm not justifying Spotify at all, but I'm also saying like, you know, 40 years ago when my dad was growing up, if he wanted to be in a band, you had to spend like 10 grand just to get into a studio and then hope that people would maybe buy your music. 
you don't have to make se- so actually let's let's back it up Eddie. so you have to spend the money to get your gear to go into a studio to record like say 10 grand ten thousand dollars worth of song, one song two songs three songs then you'd have to press the vinyls or cds which cost more money and then you'd have to play shows to hopefully have people buy them that is a big barrier to entry. There was a lot less artists actually being able to produce music. So yes, did Spotify m- maybe necessarily create more, uh, what's it called, you know, saturation? I don't know, but they, they made, definitely made it so that the fact that the kid that never would have had a shot to create music professionally now has a shot because he's actually really, really talented because the talented people didn't necessarily make it back in the 80s because they had no money. You know, there was how many talented people didn't make it because they didn't have any money. I bet a lot. Now, you don't necessarily have to have money, you just have to have talent and, you know, sometimes a good or good marketing and you can get the opportunity. Now, we only talk about the artists that, you know, have barely get any streams and like we never really talk about the artists that are getting tremendous streams, you know. Like it, it <laughs> we compare ourselves to these Ed Sheerans and and Taylor Swifts and Ariana Grandes and Billie Eilishes who are getting billions of streams a year. So when you take that money that they're making, they're making buckets of money. So there's definitely, now we don't talk about the in-between ever. We talk about, you know, all that they're making. We talk about the, the people that are making less than $270 a year on, on Spotify. We don't really talk about the people that are in between, that are making, that have 2 million streams a month, that are getting $7,000 a month just from their Spotify. 2 million streams a month is not going to get you on the radio. It, nobody's going to know your name. You're still going to be a very, very, very niche artist. You know, and, and, and most people still, you would definitely not be a household name. You need like billions of streams a month for it to be a household name. You'll be like semi maybe famous where you could probably p- p- like put play out like maybe 500 person show, maybe. But you're still making seven grand a month on Spotify. Like that's your full time job. I mean, seven grand a month that what is that times 12? That's uh, what is that? $84,000 a year just from Spotify. That's not including Apple Music. That's not including Tidal. That's not including YouTube. That like, so that's something to consider. We don't talk about those people. That, but that person would not, never have had a shot 20, 30, 40 years back because the, the level to entry is so high. So I would say that these opportunities are, it is definitely oversaturated, but when I, I kind of referenced it earlier with the fact of there being survival of the fittest, if you have to either really good talent, you're really talented, or you're a great marketer, I would debate that there's some really, really good opportunity for you in the music industry these days. Would it be cool if Spotify paid us more? Yeah, but they're a business. They also have to make money. Like, Spotify's a business. Like, we, how are you gonna be mad at a, a company that is giving you the opportunity to put your music out there? Yeah, it sucks that you're not getting paid more, but like, they're also offering their services for free. <laughs> it's like being mad at YouTube, you know? Like, they owe you nothing. Without them, you wouldn't be able to put your music on the internet. So like, it's like, it's like almost biting the hand that feeds you to some degree. And I'm not saying we take whatever they give us. I'm also just saying, be conscious. Don't just take one side of the story. I think that there is really good opportunity on both sides of the story. Yeah, would it be cool if they paid us more? Sure. But I'm also really grateful for the opportunity because I believe myself. You know what it is? I think also you have to believe in yourself. I believe in myself. I believe that one day I'll get millions of streams. I'm not concerned about today because I'm thinking about one day when I will be having those millions of streams. So, you know, is is an artist that, that doesn't believe in themselves, that doesn't believe that they can achieve that upset? Maybe, but that's also like they would have never had the opportunity 20 years ago. So maybe be grateful for the opportunity. That's my little rant. Uh, I'm not justifying Spotify at all. I just want to play the other side of the coin uh, to say that there is a lot to be grateful to be a musician in 2021.